So, are y'all celebrating Halloween? I just really have to make sure. And TikTok, please, this is only for educational purposes. I just want to go over on why it's based around children. Why around this time people are trying to conjure up fear by going to haunted houses, watching scary movies, all types of things like that. You know during spring and summer that everything is rebirth, it's nude, it's growing, it's back to life. Now we know during this time, which is autumn, the leaves fall off the tree, things start turning to a duller color. You know, nature starts to go through the cycle of death. It is also said the protective veil between the low vibrational spirits and our dimension is more thinner. This is why the whole trick-or-treating thing was set up to protect the kids from the demonic spirits by dressing them up as something else. There's even this holiday that's called Samhain, usually celebrated on October 31st, to welcome in the harvest and usher the dark half of the year. They believe that the barriers between the physical world and the spiritual world breaks down during this time. I've already talked to y'all about just watching specific movies, especially scary ones, are creating portals to allow specific entities into your house. But I also want to stress the normality of taking food, candy from strangers. Not even on holidays, just period. I had a coworker who always brings sweets, cookies, cakes, all types of things like that. And she would give it to the people who she didn't like. She was like, oh yeah, you can have some. A couple of days later, some of my coworkers would be sick or going through something emotional. Y'all really have to be careful, not just for the physical means of the candy, but the spiritual energy transferred to your children. Let's talk about when kids are dressed as something else, specifically putting on masks don't even know the real meaning behind wearing masks. Masks were always worn during ceremonies, initiations, rituals, often symbolizing former ancestors, inviting and conveying spiritual presence, wearing masks, becoming something else. Y'all know during those times there are unexplained things happening. Mask statues like this with nobody under it moving. And let's just go over, especially when people be putting up haunted things in front of their house. It's just everything is just spooky and scary. People thinking things are normal, people screaming, scared, and mistaking things for Halloween decorations or it's just fun when somebody actually really needs help or they're actually dead. In 2011, a teenager had somehow become entangled in a haunted house display and was hanging while being completely ignored by people walking by. Oh, let's go again. People walking by a 75-year-old man who had been shot and thought that he was just a Halloween prop. Y'all think it's fun, it's a game to be playing with energy at this time. Around the time where the veil is thin, why are we creating this haunted version, scary version of the world? Everywhere you go, it's always something spooky showing. Halloween has always been weird for me. But let me know what y'all think.